But we did want to just have a few minutes to tie some things together here at the end of the day and to charge you a little bit as you move into tomorrow morning and the discussions that we'll have. I first would like to introduce to you, uh, especially for those of you from outside the university here uh, in Nebraska, my colleague and friend Prem Paul to my right. Uh, you've heard several references to Prem last night and today. Prem serves as the Vice Chancellor for Re Research and Economic Development here at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Has been in that role for about a decade, roughly, um, here in Lincoln, and as you heard from a couple of the speakers today, has really done a tremendous job for us in building our research enterprise over that period of time. We've asked Prem if he would like to share with us a few of his thoughts to start our, our discussion here at the end of the day. Uh, so Prem, tie it all together for us. Well, thank you very much, Ronnie, and uh, appreciate uh, the opportunity to share with this uh, uh, very large uh, August audience uh, some thoughts uh, uh, from the conference. But before I do that, I would very much appreciate if you would join me in thanking uh, Ronnie and the Planning Committee for really putting a, together this fantastic uh, forum. It is really a great start to a very important uh, topic. Frankly, uh, for the last uh, 15 plus years, I have been trying to educate every time I go to DC, uh, having a dialogue with federal agencies about the importance of rural communities. And uh, I, before coming to Nebraska, I spent uh, 16 years uh, uh, in Iowa and I had the, because of my research, I had the opportunity to visit almost every uh, town in, in, in Iowa. So both looking, both looking back uh, with my experience, I personally got to see uh, um, uh, what goes on in uh, rural communities and uh, being a veterinarian, and especially hog veterinarians. I even came to Nebraska one time to, uh, to look at uh, chronic pig disease and took back some pigs uh, back to Iowa. Um, so, so this is something that's not new for me, and I, so I'm really glad to see that uh, the university and uh, Ronnie uh, and colleagues are um, uh, thinking about it and, and trying to put together uh, a very, very exciting initiative, uh, the Rural Futures uh, Institute. Well, not only uh, because that, but this is, a, I think, the number of speakers today and last night have addressed this uh, uh, challenge. It is a very important societal challenge. And I think, the, as Jake Eastling talked about that, that's really what can bring us together is that there are, if there is a problem and there is a focus, very timely uh, topic. Uh, rural communities are the source of uh, food. Um, I think that if we just look at, uh, uh, in the near future, how are we going to um, uh, continue to feed the, uh, feed the world, uh, uh, and, and the rural communities really pay a lot of attention. Frankly, uh, we don't think very much about it. I think that uh, one of the challenges that we have is that a lot of uh, citizens uh, uh, living in urban communities, they like food, but they don't know where the food comes from. So I think that we've got some of these challenges. Uh, I think the, uh, the topic is, of course, tailor-made uh, for Nebraska to provide leadership. Uh, it's because of uh, uh, not only the leadership from uh, the University of Nebraska, but because of importance of uh, uh, this in Nebraska and, uh, and, and the communities. There's been a lot of discussion on, on exactly who is going to do what. Perhaps the university is going to come up with a magic bullet to make this happen. But I think it's, uh, it's, uh, several speakers have addressed this, that it is going to take partnership, partnership uh, amongst the university, partnership with communities, partnership with state government, partnership with federal government. It will uh, engage uh, 
uh, it will require engagement of all four campuses from the university and um, other higher education institutions. It's going to take uh, uh, expertise from multiple disciplines because, um, you know, not only that uh, 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 expertise in life sciences, in agriculture, uh, or, or medicine, but it's going to take uh, um, uh, expertise, engagement of expertise in physical sciences, engineering, and uh, as pointed out in the just r uh, last panel, the social sciences is going to be very, very important uh, 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 discipline uh, uh, that will play a role in this area. But luckily, uh, uh, we don't have to s start from scratch for this institute. Uh, we have uh, uh, entrepreneurial spirit building in the state. I think the leadership at the university, leadership in state, a lot of great things are happening. But the most important part is that we have great people in the state. We have hardworking people, ethical people, and we know what success looks like. And we need to, to be confident and, uh, and, and make it happen. Uh, uh, of course, if, uh, if I didn't say anything about research, uh, that uh, I would have missed an opportunity uh, in front, front of this uh, very large, uh, good group. And that is that it all starts with research. Everything uh, uh, is, is dependent on research. Yes, it's, a, it's important that uh, we try to understand. Uh, we have a lot of many excellent, successful examples of uh, thriving uh, communities, uh, even in Nebraska. And so kind of trying to understand, uh, based on evidence-based research, is as Dr. Fred Luthans mentioned, what works, what doesn't work, what are the best practices, what can we learn from them, um, and, and how can they be uh, uh, tried at, uh, at other uh, communities. And the university has a lot to offer uh, in research areas, in education areas, and extension areas. Uh, for, for example, in the research area, we are very, um, um, a successful uh, rural medicine program. Just to give you a couple of examples of that, at the medical center, uh, we have at the University of Nebraska Lincoln uh, National, the only center focused on uh, rural education. National Center for Research uh, on Rural Education. Uh, we have uh, for a long time, for years, for a couple of decades, program in math and science partnerships in collaboration with with uh, several communities throughout the state to prepare teachers for rural sector. Uh, the reason I mention that is that because it's really all about talent and make sure that the talent, uh, the, our young people are, uh, get the best uh, experiences, best education, so they are ready to compete uh, in the world arena. Uh, state has invested in uh, Nebraska Innovation Campus. I think that that is, uh, going to have a, a positive impact, not only in this little area, but the entire state. Um, so I can go on and talk about many, many excellent programs all over the, uh, all, uh, throughout all four campuses that can play a role in the success of Rural Futures uh, uh, Institute. In my humble opinion, the biggest challenge that we have is creating a vision, creating a vision that is a unified vision and, and then supporting uh, a culture of risk-taking, culture of entrepreneurship. Uh, and, and I think it's also been mentioned a number of times that uh, yes, we can do it. We need a positive attitude, we need uh, confidence, uh, and, 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 and uh, really, the, in my uh, experience, it is the vision that is most difficult to create. Uh, money follows vision. Money follows those who are doers, who executes. Uh, I think the talent is, uh, as we mentioned, very, very critical. And I think that that's something that we need to make sure that our uh, young people in rural communities are getting the very best education. We're getting some of our students into those communities through internship experiences, 
And of course, the, the young people are getting exposed to mentors and role models, uh, so they are successful. Uh, we need to be thinking about infrastructure. We need to be thinking about connectivity. Uh, I've had the fortune of uh, traveling abroad in, um, uh, around, the, around the world, and some of the countries that we're competing with, you know, in the very rural sector, the, the uh, bars on my phone or BlackBerry or uh, iPhone or, you know, they, they're full bars. And I, that's something that we need to make sure that we re remain competitive in building infrastructure in rural communities. Uh, and finally, I think the, uh, uh, in uh, the rural communities uh, and urban communities, uh, there's, you know, we need to make sure that we learn about each other's strengths and, and uh, issues and then can be helpful. Frankly, uh, the, the rural communities, in addition to uh, having uh, very good jobs, they provide a tremendous quality of life. Uh, just was visiting with a colleague from California last week and uh, was trying to raise two kids, one and three years old kids in a 500 square feet uh, space and um, you know when, when she came and uh, visited uh, Nebraska, so I think she was very impressed. What a, a wonderful place we have, and what a uh, especially you know we can see the the blue sky every day and get up and we take it for granted. Uh, uh, Ronnie, this has really been a great idea that has a, it's very timely and has a great uh, future. It will bring uh, various resources together, uh, both uh, at the university as well as communities, if this is going to be successful. Uh, we do need to uh, 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 connect all the dots that's been talked about. We need to bring it together. We need to develop the vision and then execute the vision. It will take the entire state to, uh, to, make, uh, uh, the, to realize this vision. Ronnie, sign me up. <laughs> I'm ready to help. Let's, uh, let's get this thing going. Good luck. It's in the books. With Frank. <laughs> well, thank you, Prim, for those comments. Now, I want to just direct you to, in, to enjoy the rest of the afternoon and evening. I believe from, from now till about 5.30, you have time with the digital posters around the back of the room here and the print posters out in the atrium area. So enjoy the poster session time. Take a look at those if you haven't had an opportunity to do so already. Uh, network again. Enjoy the hors d'oeuvres that will be provided uh, in the atrium. Uh, we will look forward to seeing you back tomorrow morning. Give some thought as you're networking this next hour, hour and a half, to those open conversation ideas that we were prompted about uh, just before lunch today. And if you find other like-minded souls that have some of the same ideas, uh, create some of that original discussion tonight. And then we'll see you tomorrow morning for the open conversations and for the focus conversations. Have a good evening. <laughs>